A proposed wind turbine project is facing some opposition due to its proximity to the Minidoka National Historic Site. I spoke with some advocates to find out why preserving and keeping this land the way it is is important for so many individuals. The proposed windmill farm would bring 400 wind turbines to the area that covers 73,000 acres of land. You never want to be in the position of um, opposing renewable energy, and it's it's something that we definitely need. And it's not just our country needs it, but the world needs it. Um, but um, I, we think that there are better ways to do this. Survivor David Sakura was six years old at the time of his incarceration in 1942, which came less than a year after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, has a more personal reason to oppose this project. It was a land where we left part of our spirit, and that, that land is sacred to the spirit that we left behind. The memories are still so vivid that he can still remember his address, Block 15, Building 8, Room E. Even now, I'm, I'm approaching 86 years old. I can still remember 158E. It's as if I've been tattooed by the federal government. It is a, a reminder of what happened. It's, it's, it's a painful reminder. Um, but in that same way, it's also a part of the healing that has happened for many people. Sakura also remembers how isolated and cut off from the world all those who were incarcerated felt. Sakura thinks this wind turbine project will ruin that immersion due to the size of these turbines. It would degrade and, and destroy that sense of isolation and desolation. Something that I really wanted my children and grandchildren to appreciate, that we were living under difficult conditions. Since this proposed project is still in the planning phase, the Japanese American Citizens League is looking for more support in the effort to stop this project. You really need allies in a fight um, because um, part of why incarceration happened um, back during World War II is that we had nobody standing up for us with us. Um, that um, if, if that's the case, you're just going to get run over. I'm Alex Grant, Idaho News 6.